Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Goosebumps Horror Town playthrough. This is Grim Ken here. And uh, we have now gotten another update, which is really surprising. Because, I guess not surprising because the update we had before seemed like an appetizer to the main course. We have gotten another update in the form of, um, related to the holiday coming up, which was St. Pantis. Patrick's Day. Apologies. The interesting thing about that is that, like I predicted, and what I figured they were going to do, is that they added to Deep of the Jungle of Doom. What I wasn't expecting is, well, let me show you here. There's two books coming right now. So, it's the Deep of the Jungle of Doom, as we can see, with Crosby, Crosby, and that weird mud monster back there, yes, we're getting two for the price of one, this is the You Can't Scare Me uh, update, I'd like to refer to it as, or the St. Patrick's Day, whatever you like to refer to it. So I figured what we'll do is that we're going to take a quick look at this update, what new stuff comes in, and from there we'll get to experience together what this update has to offer. Now what's interesting is that we've kind of talked briefly when it came to the You Can't Scare Me with uh, the Valentine's Day update coming out so it's interesting to see that this is a showing a, a pattern as of late where November we got introduced to Conrad I think that's his name Conrad and he was from another book, and then we got to a update with his book in there, and then we had the same thing with with uh, Courtney, and now we got her book in here. So this seems like a pattern of if we get another character from another book, then it's obvious that they're going to see that book come in the next update. It seems like that's what they're going with here. Now this update added a lot more stuff. And I'm going to be pointing it out throughout this event. So let's just go ahead and dive right in and uh, talk about a little bit of things, shall we? So as you can see here, we got our town as normal. Nothing really has changed. As you can see, the abandoned water park has not updated as of yet. It's still there, but we see there's something new right over here. There's this weird little sinkhole. This, folks, is the swamp, or the fever swamp, <laughs> and that is the mud hole that's added in there. And as you can see, there is no updates as of yet. The books have not been added in as of yet during this, this version. So, it is quite intriguing to see this weird little sinkhole. It almost looks like a sand trap of sorts. And just like that, the St. Patrick's Day pack. So we get introduced to the new update, and we have the new character, Crosby. Or Crosby Pub. 250. You get this character who drops... Oh, that's not so bad. He drops the golden thing. New item. 200 of that. 100 of... Get the chemical fountain, which I already have. 6,000 of the coins. Extra inventory. And then a giant lucky hat. Oh, and, 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 and advance thing. Now, despite this doesn't, this is not a bad deal, but I already have some of these items, so there's no point buying into it. And oh, what is this? Oh, 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 wait a minute. Did they, wait. Oh my god, they did. They updated the pumpkins and now they turned them into mimics. I love this. I like this idea. I, I can see why they did this. They wanted to make it visible. Instead of the pumpkins hiding in the in the bushes and the, like what I've seen. Now you have this big item here jumping up and down. So that's great. And as we can see there's two on the side here. We got two uh, things. Courtney and then we got the swim monster. And as we can see now we can be able to expand to these areas with this update. There's a new weird um, chimney over there. Not sure what it is. 
Got its expansion zone. And here is expansion zone. <laughs> Very exciting. And then the south of the Fever Swamp. So up there is actually Fever Swamp. So that I really do like that. They turned the chest into mimics. Alright, let's look at this. Okay, there it is. Deep in the Jungle of Doom. <laughs> An abandoned water park. Yeah. There we go. When Eric bravely is chim... Oh, right. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to show off... I did record this part here, so I'm going to show that off in the next video. You'll see. So that's good. I completed that. So what's the next chapter? When Chuck gets his console uh, away during a field trip, winds into an abandoned water park inside he finds unexpected... Huh. And then there's a third chapter, which I guess that's where Crodby comes in. Oh, that's not bad. I like that fish uh, item there. Really intriguing. So I'm guessing that the update... Yeah, here it is. You can't scare me. Courtney King is said to be not fearing of anything, but is that true? Huh. Yeah, so this is the same blurb as this first one here. It seems like Courtney and King and Marty. Not surprising. Alright, you can't scare me. That's great. And oh, <laughs> that sculptor. I love that. Brute. <clears throat> that that fucking mud monster, man. He this looks so ooh. Ooh, the mud monster. Alright. Now there's new items, so let's see. Is there anything here? Oh, I think I hear somebody being playing outside. Right. Okay, so there's nothing in monsters. I'm sure there's nothing in the hero section, but you never know. Nope. Okay, let's make it sure. Oh, there he is. He's a neighbor. Because why not? So, is this guy a leprechaun, or is he actually f the... <laughs> this is interesting, because during my um, playthrough of Horror Town... Uh, not Horror Town, but the uh, during Halloween I've completed the Goosebumps the Game point and click by Way Forward. What's interesting about that game is that it actually had um a uh, hold on a second four leaf clover tree four oh my god <laughs> four thousand four hundred forty four drops every four hours forty four minutes and four seconds. <laughs> is that enough fours for you? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is not... Uh, am I going to get a lot of the bunch of sevens? <laughs> so that seems like the first St. Patrick's Day. Despite the um, the items here being particularly themed to St. Patrick's Day... Oh, wait, what's this? A jiggle, giggle store. Hour and 30 minutes drops four items. Interesting. Hairdresser salon. I guess that's a wig. And tire center. Huh. Alright, let's see if there's any new decorations, which I guess there is. I guess I'll talk about the stories when I do these playthroughs, but for now, let's see if I can see anything new. They, should, they, they said there's new decorations, but I swear they should... Oh, oh. There we go. Swamp ruins next to the pile of autumn leaves. Three th thirty thousand, huh? Interesting. That looks pretty interesting and freaking. Let's see here. Anything new? Okay. No, nothing yet. Is that wishing well new? I don't think so. Maybe they've just redecorated or something, but, you know. Oh, here we go. Clear bog. That looks that looks more like a swamp area. I'm interesting, so we can have more. Oh, here we go. Big lucky hat for seven. Huh. Oh, and there's a giant lucky hat. Oh, great, so there's a bunch. Oh, I... I always love when I accidentally click on things. 
So the big lucky hat and the lot and the big hat, it's not that expensive, but I don't know. I think for the purpose for the video, I will be buying um, Crosby with my actual goose bucks versus the bundle, which is normally something I do, but as of right now, I'm not gonna do that. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Okay. Lucky Balloons. Seven sevens. Okay, there we go. There, there's the sevens. Lucky Horseshoe side. <laughs> oh, my. The, the sevens puns. Oh, look. Pot of Gold. You know, probably it's a worse 10,000 in that pile. I actually do like that with the little rainbow and everything. It just comes with the decorations, because why not? Let's see this here. There's got to be something else added to this. Don't tell me that's about it. No, there's got to be more in the back here. I'm surprised that there are items all over the place. It's kind of hard. They should just have it like easy to understand what's new, but with a little icon that says, oh, new item. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Pitnik mat. A pitnik table. Wild swamp grass. Small hill. Which is worth bucks. I don't know why. It's not that bad looking. Muddy fallen tree. Mucky bog. Huh. And that's about it. Interesting. I don't know why these things say I got these. I guess I can only buy one. I don't know. I already put them down, I believe, so I don't know why it's saying I got them. Alright. Yeah. That's like the cheapest area right now. I had to unlock. Which kind of sucks as of right now. The only biggest issue, the hurdle-wise, is this blockage of the the goldsmith area like seriously I just really despise the goldsmith area but I understand it's a it's supposed to be there just to kind of stop progress I guess so it looks like Chuck we finally get some story with him much like Eric and I didn't mean to do that let's see what Chuck has to say here also, I think... Did he already have that design? I don't know. Pay attention, class. Today we're going on a field trip to explore some town's historical buildings. Deep in the jungle of doom. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. There's no way this should sound less boring. Old stuff is lame. Of course you would say that. Lucky for me, I brought my portable game console today. <laughs> It'll keep me occupied. No way. That's not fair. Here, give it to me. Leave it alone, Marty. It's mine. And hey, maybe you'll learn something listening to Mar. <laughs> the only thing she teaches me is how to fall asleep. And I already know how to do that. Ah. Oh. Deep in the jungle of doom, play games while walking, obtain walkie-talkies, two of them. Oh, so 15 minutes you're going to be doing that. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Ooh, what's this? Plan a pranks, meet a hairdresser's lawn, and then search for craft materials. What building is that? I already have it, but I don't know what that is. Interesting. So there is new tasks now. Cool. Alright, let's see this. Wait a minute. Playing games. That's not a game. That's a controller. <laughs> That's a remote controller. What? It's not like he's playing a little handheld. He had a handheld. We saw him playing handheld during Valentine's Day, and yet. Listen, guys. We can't have Courtney King lolling it over us that she's scared of. She isn't scared of anything. So this is the next chapter of You Can't Scare Me. We need to do something about it. Are you guys with me or not? 
What do you have in mind, Marty? While he's playing. It involves playing scary video games with her? I'm in. Of course he would be in. Don't be a loser, Justin. It's gonna take more than a horror video game to get to Courtney. <laughs> but we're gonna have to figure out just what it is that frightens her. Let's do some planning. Oh dear. Place tire center. Plan new pranks. Expand to the artisan workshop. Artsikin works up. I think I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> I think it's still called the expansion zone. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to be focusing on the one chapter, so I'm going to do the Jeep Deep in the Jungle of Doom, and then I will uh, do the, the Don't Scare Me bit. I figured I'll do that because then they'll give me some time to unlock these two important areas. The Fever Swamp area, and then this area with the craft. What I'm guessing is the new crafting building, by the looks of it. Also, it's nice to see some new animation buildings. That's nice. I wish we can get buildings that actually do animate, but, you know, whatever, I guess. Oh, right. I think last time I accidentally shut off the gems. And I think at some point during this playthrough I ended up actually unlocking it. Like 750 just for one ring. Now that's expensive. Screw that. I have to do this the old fashioned way. Yeah. Ooh. That's too much. D yeah, no. To do that, just open that. Nah, I'm not going to use my goose bucks on that. They're for characters and items. Looks like a dummy, so you can do that. Might as well do that for a bit. Yeah, let them do that for a bit. This will be intriguing. What else can I do here? Can you do something? Oh, have a haircut. Why? How do you need hair? You're bald. Alright, does Lucy have anything? I don't think she does. Oh, she does. Get some handcrafted materials. So it looks like some pl plush stuff. Huh. <laughs> Let's see here. What else? Uh, get some handcrafted materials like normal. Get some old fire. Tire? Oh. It's tires, but it looks like fire. <laughs> get some old fires. Yes. It can't be new fires, it gotta be very old fires. I mean, you know, that certainly looks like a tire. You know what, that looks more like a garage. I really don't have enough space, so I can't even do that right now. This is gonna take a while in order I can move on with these new buildings. Why do you need a tire place anyways? All right, I don't think you got anything new for me. Nah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Who else? I know you're not going to give me anything. Speaking of Amazo, I'll be getting back to him maybe later on near the end of this video. And uh, Slappy's glitched over there. That's always nice. Let's see, I'm looking for other character. Marty, yes, you can do that. Let's see, what do you have? Plan new pranks, gives me a rubber f tire. Huh. Oh, so he's planning a new, uh, he's planning a new prank by, by cleaning his bike. How is he doing that? The logic. Let me plan a new prank by cleaning my bike. Yes, that will be very pranky. Miss, <laughs> again, Mrs. Mar is involved, and yet she's not doing anything. So that's great. I'm gonna love when stories do that. Uh, Sharon has nothing for me, so that's always nice. Uh, no, nothing new here. Uh, anything new in the shop? No. I usually tend to do the pawn shop thing because apparently sometimes you'd get items that uh, actually is you know it. 
like the last update, I didn't even realize that they were actually craftables until I saw this weird island. Alright, Eric, do you have anything for me? I don't think you do. Oh, you do? Search for metal wires, and that's some, that's a new, metal wires. So that's a new item too, oh, ooh. We're just gonna pretend that he didn't just ride his bike on top of the building. Dr. Frederick. Oh, you, wait. You need to build a giant robot hand, get some cra crafting material? Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> I guess his arm doesn't cost so much. So we finally have something new for Dr. Frederick to do. And it took him how many times? Like, it took him a few months for something to pop up with you. Now from four items, you get to do five. That's great. Let's see what this looks like. Maybe there's some sort of animation that's new. Let's see. So why does he need the hand, though? Let's see here. Oh. Uh. Here you get some crafting material, but why are you walking away from? Why are you walking away? From, why are you walking away from the hand? <laughs> oh wait. Wait, are you trying to build something with the hand? Are you going back and forth with it? I don't th no, I don't think you are. I think you're just going all over the place. That's great. I don't know why you needed that. That seems pretty useless. It's not like you're interacting with the item. It's just like, oh, you just need it just to unlock it. Just... Oof. Alright, let's see this here. I don't think you got anything for me. I love it too. This is like during the first bit is just looking at everything that's new and see if I can't unlock or find out if there is anything new here. For the most part I don't see there is anything new. Yeah. Not much characters I will say that's actually doing anything. You know these these nobody characters these neighbors or adults I'm surprised they don't have much of a story with them. Like, it would be intriguing if they had some more involvement. But, I don't know, they're just kind of there. I guess the only person I would say that doesn't have that big of a role, or out of all the, the neighbors and whatnot, um, I think the gist, what was it? DJ Eddie? Or DJ Diamond? I don't know what it, you know what it, the disc jockey. He seems like he's the only type that actually had some sort of story plot with him. And yet everywhere else is just nothing. Maybe in the maybe in the next update or something we'll probably see. Oh, what, what's this? Get some crafting. Oh, so so Doc Professor Shock finally gets something to do with some items. Kalissa doesn't do anything, which you know I'm not surprised. Can Miss Dark do something? Oh, what's this? Get presents for children. What does that drop? Oh, you need a jiggle store and it drops... It looks like a snake. Huh. <laughs> does Cynthia do anything? Get some crafting material. Okay, so some of these characters can get some crafting material. And it seems like the wires, hairs, and whatnot are going to be needed for, I guess, the crafting of these new items. Mask Mutant, you don't got anything for me, so... That's nice, I guess. <laughs> Say with Jack. Uh, oh, Mr. Useless? Yep, you're still living to your name. I'm so glad to see that you've lived up to your standards. Uh, these characters don't have anything, which I'm not surprised. I'm s well, it's interesting when they introduce some of these limited time characters to do stuff. Like Sam and, uh, what was it? Uh, Carly. That was intriguing from the Halloween, the Valentine's Day update. But, uh, 
Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of items here. Claus doesn't do anything. He won't be available until Christmas, so he's going to be useless until then. Uh, nothing there. Wolfbane, can you do something for me? Oh, what? yes, you can. Sniff for clues gives me a plague rat plush. Huh. That's a cute plush. Four hours, that's not bad. Okay, so he also drops me an item that's useful. Okay. It's not bad. Can I see an animation of... I hate when items are blocking when characters are doing stuff. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just going to store it. Okay, so he's just sniffing around. That's great. Alright, time to put my item back on. This is the only one thing I'll say is that when these items finish their updates, they still keep the background for some reason. But yet they don't stay with the background, so that's... I don't know. Just, it's... It's a mystery. Well, do you do anything new? Uh, oh! Act Vigilant. Three hours. It gives me a hairy tarantula toy. Okay, so three character connects to get me some of these items already. That's great. Alright, let's see this. And we need a lamp. Alright, so apparently I have a lamp, but I don't remember where I put it. Where did I put the lamp? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it was right beside the diner. Okay. What the hell? Oh, oh I see what they tried to do here. It's making him look like he's standing on top of the lamp. <laughs> okay, I'll give him credit on that one. That was intriguing. Courtney, you probably have something for me because you're in the main story here. Search for craftable materials. Okay, so you only do one thing. That's great. Okay, maybe it's one of those situations where they'll unlock later on. You get to see Slap, Slappy's decapitating head. Which actually might be a good way to end it. So what I think we're going to do is in the next part, we're going to be focusing mostly on Deep in the Jungle of Doom, but we're going to be taking a look at the part we've missed, which is the first part to the Deep Jungle of Doom, which is what you have unlocked if you bought the, uh, the theme park before this whole thing ended. And then right after, we're going to be looking at the You Can't Scare Me book. So... I think that'll be it for this first part one thing, and uh, yeah, so far this is going to be very, in like this whole month is interesting because it's like starts you off with an appetizer, and then now here's the main course where you get two, not one item, but you get two, you know, so kudos to them. I'm real intrigued to see how this will turn out, but let's just wait and see what they end up doing here. And uh, I'm quite curious in what they'll add to this whole this whole thing. So in the next part, we're going to be taking a look mostly into the the, the deep in the jungle of doom storyline, and I'll be talking more about that like book where it's based off of. We're going to be showing off a new character, all that type of stuff. So you know, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. Leave a like, dislike down below. Your input is always helpful. And uh, until part two, I'll see you next time.